Good morning, everyone. This is Dr. Diggs. It's another beautiful day out here in the Pacific Northwest. Today, we're going to talk about class match, which is something I don't normally talk about, but I've been having a lot of fun with it. Now, if any of you out there know me, you probably know that live PvP is not my coup de gras. I am not the largest live PvP fan, and I kind of don't touch the subject most of the time. I kind of leave that to Prodigy and his podcast and everybody else who is on there with him. Now, recently, with the changes to class match, the biggest problem that I had, which is actually identifying when a class match is going on, have been solved. The fact that there's this little warning system right here that is telling me when it's going on is absolutely amazing for me. For me, the biggest problem was getting into class match, being aware that it was happening, and two, the other problem was the need to manual. And I'm someone who I can manual, but I would prefer not to spend the time manualing a match. It can go on for a long time. It can drag on. And the next thing you know, five class matches is going to take you, you know, 30 to 45 minutes. And I know there's a lot of people who get a lot of joy out of manualing. And, you know, I feel that for you as well. But, you know, ever since we've been able to auto and we've been able to do it for class match, that's actually what I've been doing is just putting together an auto composition I think is going to work moderately well. I'm going to build up some tokens and I've been doing the class match daily now. Now, I'm not that far up, so I don't have the most expert opinion that probably a lot of people have. And if you're looking for an expert opinion, you know, someone who is doing class match every day and really manualing and trying to get the best out of it, that's really not me. I am much more of a casual, you know, player of the class match system. And I think the changes that they've made to it have actually made it more engaging. And it's actually been kind of nice just to auto one out. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I have turned auto off once and <laughs> I haven't quite figured out the nuances of if you're queuing up for a match on auto, if it's good to just leave it on auto or if it's disrespectful to turn auto off. Haven't quite figured that out. I would love to hear what you guys think down in the comments section. One of the things I think has really made this more engaging for me is the changes to the map and the addition of kind of limiting the compositions that you can bring. So for example, adding missile and magic attack resistance plus 50, uh, setting a unit cost of 220 or less, which is basically removing the cost associated of VC and espers, which is really interesting. It's just been a lot of fun. So we're gonna go ahead and hop in and we'll go through a couple autos for you guys and see if we can't maybe push up into the gold rank here. Now we are gonna leave our auto on, and the strategy here is since most of the opponents can't really bring missile or magic, most opponents are probably gonna bring slash. They're probably gonna bring confusion with Agrius like we see in this composition here. So my plan is to utilize my pierced composition, to utilize charm from Victoria's Limit Break, and to utilize Little Leela as a healer and a support character with maybe a little bit of magic in the background. And hopefully we'll be able to pull off some amazing things here. And you can see I do have Revitalize. This is another aspect that I forgot to talk about at the beginning of this video, but the crystals are actually amazing, I think. Being able to pop an ability like Hazard Form, for example, run up and then grab a crystal is awesome. It's great. I mean, it just, I love it. I just love the way it's going. I love the change to this map that they made by adding those green crystals. I've also been in a match where the green crystals were really the deciding factor on how I was going to win the match. I was in a situation where I was up against a ranged unit and I was wanting to win via HP, right? And the one thing that I came up with was, well, I'll just grab a crystal and just keep letting myself get hit. And I was actually successful at winning. So it's been a lot of fun. It's been a little different. If you're somebody who hasn't been playing class match very much, I would actually encourage you to give it another try. And 
Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you like it because I actually have been enjoying it. So I think there's a couple people out there who might be enjoying it as well. Got our little Leela here. It's unfortunate that our Victoria died there. That's very unfortunate. Hopefully our Kane will kill this Glaciella. And then it should be easy pickings on the Agrius and the Elshira. But you never know. This is actually the first time I've ever seen Elshira in a match before, too. And she's only 88. So hopefully Kane will be able to go in and just, like, knock her down a bit. I'm hoping Agrius isn't going to be too much of a pain either. I'm pretty sure Kane has uh, golden armor on for slash resistance. I don't think he has the confusion resistance. I don't think he has native confusion resistance. So it's just a little different way of thinking about this for me. It might actually be worth it for me to put uh, a different VC on little Leela like, uh, um, oh, here it comes. Little Leela's dead. Little Leela's dead. <laughs> oh, she lived. Oh, she lived. All right, all right, Kane popping the Sentinel moving in. Kane, you you're taking your time, dude. You are taking your time. Leela's just like, I'm just going to stand right here in the middle. <laughs> oh, 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 it didn't work. Oh, tragic, tragic. Oh, she, does she not have any offensive spell set? I wonder if she doesn't have any offensive spell set. Because she would have killed my Leela if she would have been able to, right? Quicken again. Oh, protect again. Oh. Oof. This seems to have been a change in Leela's AI, too, where if she could kill an enemy, she seems to prioritize not killing. Ooh, double kill there. So this is what I mean. I've been enjoying, I've been enjoying this. I've been enjoying just playing through, seeing what happens and testing out my different compositions. I've changed out little Leela a few times. I've tried to do Quicken. I've had, you know, Victoria running forward it is a problem that I've had. Usually she's able to pop off her limit break beforehand though. So let's see. We'll probably get matched up with a manual opponent here, I think. I have heard the matching has been a little bit unfair, uh, particularly when you're in like gold level where like rank 100s are matched with like rank 40s. This looks like it might be a bit of an unfair matchup. But again, we're still in the lower levels myself. I should probably be in, I would guess, Diamond League potentially um, if I actually did this every day. I don't really know where I would fall in the rankings. I would assume once you get to gold, you kind of have to manual all the time. All right, and he's going to be manualing. So we might actually lose if he manuals a Kane and a Glaciella against us. I could see us losing this pretty badly. Oh, he's thinking. He's thinking. Oh, he's thinking long time. <laughs> come on. Come on. I wonder what he's going to do with his Mont. I wonder if he's running like Vow on his Mont to maybe mess with players like me who are using auto AI. Oh, he's going to probably try and leap strike. No. Oh, he's buffing. Oh, no. That means I'm probably going to charm that Mont with Victoria. Oh, no. I'm probably I probably can't hit the angle yet. Because Mont does have a weakness to charm, so it is possible that I will end up charming Mont, which would be unfortunate. That would be an unfortunate charm. God, I love Inherited Tyranny so much. There's the Sentinel. So I wonder if Leela's gonna use her LB here. Uh-huh. It'll probably actually do some damage against Mont too. Yeah, it did some damage. All right, Glaciella's most likely going to kill Leela, I'm guessing. Which, if she does, I bet you it'll position her to maybe get hit by Victoria's LB. 
I feel like we're going to see a Victoria LB here, potentially. Oh, he can't get good positioning on it. Oh, he's buffing. Okay. Oh, we're just jumping. We're just going to jump and kill Mont. Okay. Oh, shit. That's right. He had uh, Sentinel up. Oh, tragic. I don't think Kane's LB can reach both of them from there. Yeah, so he's going to jump on Leela. He's going to jump on Mont. Oh, Leela lived. Oh. Oh, and that was the healing effect down, wasn't it? On Leela. Oh, and Victoria's jumped in the air so Glacella can't hit her. <laughs> oh, that's great. That is great. Oh, I hope we trigger uh, Immortal Spirit on his cane. His Glacella is probably going to die from cane here, I would imagine. Oh, it didn't. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that's a cane LB right there. Oh, God, I'm going to get owned. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, that's a tragedy. That is a tragedy. Oh, oh, Victoria with the counter draining his HP. Holy shit. Oh, man. Oh, that was unforeseen. That was unforeseen, everybody. See, that's what I think is so exciting about this. Like, it's drawn out just a little bit more than Arena. Oh, man. Oh, we actually stand a chance now. We are slowed, which is problematic. But we do stand a chance. Victoria still has her LB here, too. Oh, she's going to jump. All right, she's going to jump it. I don't think Glacella can kill both of them. Oh, because of the positioning. So she has to choose. Yeah, she's going to go for Victoria. And then Mike Kane's going to go and kill her, probably. Oh, she's probably out of range. Oh. Unfortunate. Oh, but we have Sentinel. That's right. Oh. Oh. Sub Paladin winning it out right now. Sub Paladin is winning it out. Oh, what do you do in this situation? Do you run away? I think you would run away if you were manualing. Oh, oh. Now this is a good match. I think they're trying to find a way out right now. Oh, they're just going to wait, and then they'll take another turn, it looks like. Trying to figure out what's going on here. What are they thinking? All right, they're taking another turn here. Glacella doesn't have jump too, does she? So she's going to buff. I don't think she's out of range of Kane, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's over. GG, Red H. GG. Oh, that was good. That was a lot of fun. We have one more match. Oh, we actually just got gold. Holy shit. Oh, we'll take it. We'll take it. Y'all, I'm finally going to get my Hermes sandals. I'm finally going to get my Hermes sandals one of these days here soon just by doing this oh man well you guys let me know if you want to see more of this uh i've definitely been enjoying auto and class match so i would love to make more content with it uh, i could actually probably put in uh in-game noises and commentate it just a little bit more i'm kind of curious it's been a long time since i've done arena videos or any type of pvp videos so i'm really curious uh let me know down in the comment section down below if you guys do want to support me, make sure you use my affiliate link, dig.gs slash coins or dig.gs slash offer. It's one of the best ways to support me without actually giving me money directly. And as always, everybody, please have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you later today on stream. That was awkward. <laughs>